I wish I knew this one thing about PCOS. Our last post about the IIT Bombay PCOS and brain fog study went viral. And honestly, as someone with PCOS, I felt so seen. Because yes, the brain fog is real, the forgetfulness is real. Welcome to another episode of Not Just In Your Head, where we unpack the real science behind women's health issues. I'm Shobita Narayan, and I'm going to be talking about why brain fog and PCOS are interrelated. So what the study essentially found is that women with PCOS performed significantly worse on memory and attention tests. We were 55% slower on the focused attention memory tasks and made more errors on divided attention tasks. Yes. So what's actually going on in the brain? It all starts with insulin resistance, which is super common in PCOS. Most people think that insulin just controls blood sugar, but what they don't understand that in the brain, it's also a neurotrophic factor, which means that it helps neurons grow, communicate and fire properly. When your brain becomes insulin resistant just like your body it stops using blood glucose efficiently that means less energy for neurons especially in areas like the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus which control focus memory and decision making then there's chronic inflammation another hallmark of PCOS elevated cytokines like ILS 6 and TNF alpha cross the blood-brain barrier and disrupt dopamine and serotonin levels so now we're dealing with low mood poor focus and that mental fuzz that's hard to explain but impossible to ignore. Now add androgens which can interfere with GABA signaling and elevated cortisol which literally shrinks your hippocampus over time. And it makes sense why women with PCOS feel like their brains are constantly underperforming. This isn't about being lazy or not trying hard enough. It's about a biochemistry. But the good news is that once I started attacking the metabolic root causes, like improving my insulin sensitivity, lowering inflammation, and balancing my hormones, I started seeing my brain actually come back online. If you've been gaslighted by doctors and family for years, know that you're not alone and there is a way to treat this. 